Egyptian court has ordered the reinstatement of public prosecutor Abdel Majid Mahmoud, whose sacking in last November sparked a bitter row between the president, then Mohamed Morsi, and the judiciary. The general prosecution announced that, according to the law, Councillor Hussein Yassin was assigned to be in charge of the general prosecution. Abdullah's appointment contested by the liberal opposition. Later on, Councillor Abdel Majid Mahmoud resigned from his post. Moving on to Egypt's celebration for the holy month of Ramadan. Let's know more about the Egyptians and how they celebrate this holy month with this report by Basma Taha. Every year, Muslims wait eagerly for the month of Ramadan. In Egypt, Ramadan's traditions and celebrations are different from any other country. One could witness such celebrations even before the beginning of Ramadan in every street in the country. Housewives go and buy Ramadan's nuts, dates, and raisins, which are the most popular household items during Ramadan. Happy Ramadan to all Egyptians. I came today to buy almonds, dates, and apricots. I like them very much. I like also drinking hibiscus, karub, and tamarind after breaking my fast. It is our custom. I wish all the best to Egypt. Many happy returns to the Islamic nation. Seller said the current events and rallies witnessed by the country had indeed affected sales. نفس أنواع اليميش بتاعة رمضان يعني الناس أخذت حاجة رمضان كلها من قبل يوم ثلاثين. People mostly like raisins, hazelnuts, almonds, and hibiscus. There are many kinds of dates, and there is the Aswan date, ordinary dates, and the Oasis date. The Oasis dates are very soft. People like eating them after breaking their fast. This year, in Ramadan, the selling rates are much less than last year. Ramadan is an excellent opportunity for friends to visit each other. It is also a wonderful time for all family members to get together to break their fast. Despite the current events, Muslims are keen on celebrating the holy month of Ramadan. Happy Ramadan to everyone! and many good returns. Basmataha, Nai TV International. Taiwanese or lanterns are the most popular hallmarks of the holy month of Ramadan. Lanterns are spotted in the Egyptian streets as a mean for the celebration of the holy month of Ramadan. Let's know more about this with Basma Taha.
Ramadan's panels or lanterns are the most significant highlights in Ramadan. Parents are overjoyed buying lanterns for their kids to celebrate Ramadan. Lanterns are also used for decorations at homes. There are more than 60 kinds of lanterns. Some are made of glass while others are made of metal. In the past, lanterns were used in the streets as a symbolic enlightenment, but now they are found in the streets as a means of celebrating Ramadan. Happy Ramadan to everyone. Lanterns are the most important highlights in the holy month of Ramadan, especially for kids. Some lanterns are made of cloth while others are made of copper. They come in different sizes and shapes of lanterns and they go back to the Fumitimid era. The lantern industry is very diverse. Each day new styles of lanterns are created. The lantern industry is one of the traditional professions that took on a commercial trend due to the market demand. بجمع الفانوس انا بعمله جزء جزء وبعد كده بجمعه لثلاث اجزاء وبعد كده بخليه حته واحده I'm collecting the different parts of the lantern to make them one integrated part. I will place the cover of the lantern, which is the main part, after I finish all the steps. Then I will make some drawings and I will write on these drawings, God is the greatest and happy Ramadan. There are 60 kinds of lanterns and the height of the highest lantern may reach 6 meters. Despite the current events witnessed by the country, Muslims are keen on buying panos to celebrate Ramadan. Ramadan's lanterns are the most famous highlights among children in Ramadan. They are the source of joy and entertainment for all kids. That's Mataha, Live TV International. Turkish concert was held recently in the Sawi Cultural Wheel. Nile TV's Rasha Madi attended the concert and filed in the following report. Now it's time for our cultural review. It's time to enjoy the Turkish rhythms with Mohammed Yahya's group. Mohammed Yahya's troupe was founded five years ago with a passion for classic Arabic and Turkish music. I started singing at the age of six. I used to sing classic songs for Umm Kulsum and Warda. I started singing in Turkish three or four years ago. I like Turkish music. It's close to the classic Arabic music, but it has unique musical instruments which I enjoy listening to, like the clarinet and the sax. Unique feature in the concert was the presence of Salma, a six-year-old musician who entertained the public by playing the sas musical instrument. It's mom then I I you have first to take some songs then 
them something names them they met them yeah. have the concerts but but first you have to do it on uh, actually uh, it was uh, an incident uh, she was uh, going for fun for having some uh, music uh, practice but um, they 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 got her talent and they started to pick her up she she began to uh, to grow her her uh, talent and uh, fortunately she she became a little star uh, and uh, especially uh, special thanks to her master mr muhammad yahir under the supervision of mr nasir shamma house of Oud. yeah he is he is the main uh, master for all the stuff uh, the, the 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 stuff in betel Oud. Uh, and then she uh, she started to practice in some concerts uh, going outside even Cairo uh, some uh, outside an external government but uh, her her main uh, support from her dad because uh, um, uh, her dad is, is going to, uh, to 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 drive her to the, the the exercises and the classes so it's it's an incident but thanks God that fortunately she became uh, a talented small a relative uh, music star The music lyrics and beautiful voice of Nurhan el Baghdadi took the audience back to the glorious times of the Ottoman Empire. this we come to the end of today's edition of our program newsday hope you have enjoyed it until we meet again next week on history rabia from international